This is our end results of our collard green stew of soup. It's beautiful, y'all. It tastes good. It's very, very, very good. Just ready for the coming into fall and winter. You can add this to your table. Collard greens, they are what you call succulents. They taste really good. They taste fantastic. I'm going to show you how to do this dish right after this presentation and how to do this wonderful collard green stew. You have to make sure that you follow the direction in order to get this beautiful stew, y'all. It tastes wonderful. It tastes wonderful. If you love collards, greens, you will love this. This is wonderful, y'all. I sauteed the onions. I sauteed the um, tomatoes. I pre-cooked the potatoes and have a little brown on them. And then I sauteed the meatballs with seasoning like garlic powder and onion powder and a little spice like black pepper and salt. This is fabulous, y'all. This is a fabulous meal, and y'all will enjoy this with some good old cornbread. As I said, after this presentation, I will show you how to do this wonderful, magnificent collard green stew a soup. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is what I call my collard green soup or stew. Whatever suits your fancy, this is what this is, y'all. It's a collard green soup or stew. In this dish, what you're going to need is going to be easy and simple. Very easy and simple. What you're going to need, you're going to need some broth. You're going to need some of this good old beef stock. This is wonderful, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what we're going to do is put that in there, and we're going to put a cup of my famous chicken stock. You know what I love, y'all. This is going to be so easy and simple. Anybody can do it. Anybody will put their mind to it that's over 18 or 15. Okay, we're going to put this in, then we're going to add our potatoes. Our potatoes is already pre-cooked. Already pre-cooked right there, y'all. Pre-cooked. I got them a little brown on so they can look real pretty in there. So we're going to put the onions in there. I already got the onions sautéed. Got them in there just like this. going to be so simple. Y'all going to be saying, oh, this is a simple little thing to do. And then we're going to put um, meatballs like. It's going to be a little meatballs like going on, y'all. Just going to make a little, not a whole lot. And we're going to let this simmer for a minute or two. We're going to add some tomato paste. Just like this. Just like this, tomato paste in this, y'all. And when that come up to a ball, we're going to add a little collard greens. Our collard greens is already pre-cooked. So what we do is just squeeze out the liquid. Squeeze the liquid out so they be flaky like that. Just like that, y'all. We'll be right back and let you see what this is going to look like, okay? All right, as our soup coming up to a ball, we put a bay leaf in. Just one small bay leaf. And we want these potatoes to get kind of tender because we just put a brown sear on them. So what we're going to do now is add our tomatoes. What I did with these tomatoes, I fried them. I fried them in a little, uh, well, I fried them in a little seasoned oil, y'all. And you know, you can use chicken grease and you can use a brisket grease too. So I fried them and I put some garlic and we're going to put them in here just like this. Get them all in there like that. And then once we got it like that, we're going to add our season. We're going to add uh, some peppuccino. Now you can put hot cayenne pepper if you want it. But I just put a little peppuccino in there because I don't want it too spicy. And you know that um, basil is good for tomato dishes. So we're going to add some basil to it. Just like this. A little basil. And then we're going to add some parsley flakes. You know, I love parsley flakes. Just like that. And we're going to let that simmer a little bit. But see, while that's simmering, we're going to add the greens. <laughs> we're going to add the greens in there, y'all, just like that. Just a few, not a lot. We don't want them to be too greeny. We just want them to have enough substance as a soup or a stew. Just like that. And we're going to let this simmer for about maybe 
10 minutes and we'll be right back okay all right we are back we need to put two more items in here now if you like Worcestershire sauce you can put Worcestershire sauce in here but I'm not a big fan of Worcestershire sauce now you can put that in there with this if you like look at that I'm gonna look good oh my goodness look at that y'all oh look at the collard greens and the meatballs and the uh, potato and the tomatoes we're gonna put one more thing in here and that's gonna be a little sugar just a little sugar just a little sugar for the synergy just like that not much just a lot just not a lot just like that and then we're gonna add some uh accent it brings out the flavor y'all just a little acid when I hurt and some people don't use it you don't have to and we're just gonna blend it together and our soup is ready you can put in I think you can put okra in here if you want corn in here if you want you can put anything you want in here just soup and I just think this is fine and then the right here y'all it's perfect and we're gonna need it for it and I think it's fabulous we'll be right back 